What's going on guys? Welcome in to Clutch B-Ball TV. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night as the New York Knicks go on to advance to 4-3 and three, as we go on to beat the Atlanta Hawks in my opinion like if there's casual NBA fans out there they'll think of this as like a stunning win like I can't believe the Knicks won this as we went on to beat them down the stretch in this game 113 to 108 as at first this game started off with like no defense whatsoever there was buckets back and forth we know Trey Young's like herky jerky style of plays ability to get to the charity stripe he's one of the best in the NBA when it um, comes to getting to the free throw line, hitting shots from downtown, his handle on a string. Guys like Kevin Herter scared me coming into this game. And of course, DeAndre Hunter from Virginia. He was actually the pick right after RJ Barrett in the 2019 NBA draft. I don't think he's a guy that's going to be like a superstar all-star, but I think he's a guy that's going to be solid for a very long time. I did like his style of play out of Virginia. A good 3 and D guy. Capello really scared me coming into this game. His physicality up against Mitchell Robinson. We'll get into Mitch later. But I just thought the Knicks... Did not give up down on like down the stretch in this game or at all. Like if this was last year, this team wouldn't have, wouldn't have made any adjustments. Tom Thibodeau was just like, he he was on the Knicks' ass, which which he should be because the Knicks have been so bad for a long time, and you could tell he wants to make this Knicks team good again. And four and three, I'm an optimistic fan, but I'm also a real fan. I did not think we're gonna be above 500. I thought we we're gonna be one of the worst teams in the league. We still may be because it is the beginning of the season. But the Hawks, I actually had high expectations coming into the season. I liked their young, talented players. And then they mixed in some veterans. I get it, Gallinari and Rondo sat out in this basketball game. But I still thought the Hawks were going to win this game because I was like, we're really going to have to grind out this game. We can't shoot well from downtown. Like, we're not a team that's going to outshoot the Atlanta Hawks whatsoever. We're definitely going to have to grind it out and play our players throughout their strengths. So, yes, this game started off with no defense whatsoever. Um, the second quarter was still even. We we were leading in this game, and then they went on like a big run. <sighs> the third quarter scared me. At one point, the most points the Hawks were up, or they're at least up 14 points at one point in this basketball game. They're killing us from beyond the arc. We're struggling guarding the three-point line. But then we started to adjust guarding the three-point line. We're starting to communicate a lot better in this basketball game. And the reason I thought we were down in this game is we were letting the Hawks play throughout their strengths. Alfred Payton was starting to play fast, and I did not like it. I don't think he did a good job recognizing the tempo, the scouting report. The Hawks are a good team that likes to get out and run, hit the reason transition if it's Trey Young, initiate contact, get those and, and ones. Um, DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, can't believe he missed that dunk at the end of the game. But Cam Reddish is kind of like a Kevin Knox. He's going to show flashes of brilliance, and then he's going to miss some of the easiest shots you've ever seen, like at, at, the, end of the, um, at the end of the game. But yes, I actually thought Mitchell Robinson did a solid job in this game. In the first half, it was ugly. Don't get me wrong. I think he kind of did struggle offensively, but they did a good job finding him baskets um, near the rim for sure. But he had three fouls again in the first half, just like last game. And he did such a good job adjusting in the second half as well. He was just playing a smarter brand of basketball. Whatever Tom Thibodeau told him definitely worked out or whatever adjustments he made with his like head mentally but I thought Mitchell Robinson he had a solid game in my opinion I'm not gonna say it was great in the first half it was definitely ugly but he played a fundamental brand of basketball in the second half he had a big time block on Trey Young driving down the lane but we were definitely starting to play throughout our strengths and a guy of Emmanuel quickly was definitely a big reason we were in this basketball game but I'm gonna get into Kevin Knox Knox it looked like he was gonna have one of these games again misses wide open threes just pisses me off I'm like you're in the NBA dude and then, like, when we're going on this run, we're, um, like, we're playing in the slow-mo, like, type of tempo, getting to the charity stripe, stopping the clock, which is definitely great against the Atlanta Hawks, because you know the Hawks like to get out and run, but we did a really good job getting to the charity stripe, stopping the clock, even though we could have made some more free throws, and I thought we could have had more of, like, a better lead or got back, back in this game quicker. But Julius Randle did a good job when it came to that, in my opinion. I thought he really did do a good job. And then to end out that third quarter, Knox hit that like buzzer beater three. It was just awesome to see. It was like off balance, such a crazy shot. But Julius Randle, I'm so proud of this dude because a lot of Knicks fans hate Julius Randle. I'm not a big Julius Randle fan, but I'm starting to be. If he continues to play like this, keeping his head up, making the right place. He's going to have Julius Randle moments that it happens to like bounce off his foot somehow. But he did a good job keeping his head up and playing smart, fundamental basketball. So I got to give Julius Randle credit. He had some timely buckets. And I'm going to say this right now. Our offense would be lost without Julius Randle. We got to give Julius Randle like, credit where credit is due. Had another good game. Very efficient. Was not great from downtown. And I thought we had many like chances to take the lead or get closer in this game but he did miss some open threes he was 0 for 5 from downtown but very efficient 11 for 19 he had 28 points he had 17 rebounds 9 assists 1 steal 
and he did have seven turnovers, though. That's the big thing. That's definitely his kryptonite, turning the ball over. But I didn't think he, like, held on to the ball so long. I don't know if it's the double teams, the pressure getting to him or what. But Julius Randle, he did have some shots. I was like, why are you shooting that? And then there were some open shots. Like, okay, I could live with that. You missed it, but it's a good quality shot. But I thought he did a good job keeping his head up. He played good defense on Trey Young on one of the last possessions of the game. It was the same play. I believe Mitch had the block. Just unbelievable effort by this team. We're down 14 at one point. This team definitely played with heart. And I just absolutely love it. Like, Knicks fans, we love this grit and grind mentality that we just love fighting in these basketball games. Bullock, he played the less amount of minutes, um, I think. Yeah, he did. 26 minutes. I believe Mitch played 28 minutes. I believe I am correct on that. And he has his moments that he's such a streaky player that I don't like having having him in the starting lineup. But I get it, the veteran presence. I guess they don't want, like, a rookie out there, um, like Emmanuel Quickly at the two or something like that. But Reggie Bullock, he hit some shots. I'm not going to say he was terrible. I think the reason he is in the starting lineup is because he does play valuable defense and good defense on this basketball team. But Alfred Payne, he has to realize the tone of the game. He was, like, really helping the Hawks play out throughout play throughout their strengths but he did he did a good job facilitating in this game and he did a solid job defensively but rj barrett i'm very pleased with rj barrett in this basketball game knicks fans you definitely have to be pleased with rj barrett 26 points two steals five assists 11 rebounds 10 for 19 a very efficient night and yes he only made one three but that one three was so critical hit such a big three down the stretch that's what you love about this kid this kid is not afraid of the big moment whatsoever back to back good games you like to see the consistency from rj barrett he's not afraid of the big moment whatsoever but he was doing a great job crashing the glass i don't know if it's this mentality of he loves killing the pacers and he loves killing cam reddish or what but rj barrett had a very good game and he does like kind of get his ankles broke on the defense of the basketball because he's not the quickest of guys but he definitely needs to get better on that side of the ball but i thought rj barrett had a solid game Mitchell Robinson definitely did better in the second half, just like the Pacers game, three fouls in the first half, then he started to play more mature in that second half as well. Kevin Knox, he hit like that big three, that was definitely a big momentum, just momentum swing after the third quarter, just off balance, just drilled it. You have guys like Austin Rivers, who was unbelievable in this basketball game. We were not great from downtown, but we hit threes when it mattered most on the left wing like he did against the Indiana Pacers. I don't think it was on the left wing against Indiana, but he hit a big shot just like he did against Indiana. Played great defense down the stretch in this game. This team plays so hard. Julius Randle even had a really nice play when he tried to save it, like when he saved it inbounds. It was just unbelievable. And Emmanuel quickly, literally everyone had a role in this game. And you love to see it. Emmanuel quickly in 19 minutes. It was four for seven, two for three from downtown. He even got to the charity strike six times. He has this herky jerky style of play. He does model his game after like CJ McCollum. You see the floater in the lane. You see kind of like this herky jerky hand. Handle Lou Williams' his ability to draw fouls, and Trey Young is getting frustrated. And I remember Walt Frazier and Mike Breen were like, "Well, Trey Young, you really know how to draw fouls, so you should know what he's trying to do here." But he had 16 points, one assist, two rebounds. He had some big shots. He loves that floater in the lane. Sometimes I think he uses it too much, and he has to go stronger to the basket. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And he had like this off balance three. Played good defense down the stretch. There was a one beautiful steal on Trey Young. I'm like, damn, he looks like a veteran out there. But I'm so pleased with this win. We did not shoot good from downtown again, but we hit threes when it mattered most and this is how we're going to win games we're going to grind out basketball games but i want to thank you guys so much for the great amount of support this channel is not possible without you guys we're four and three again i am optimistic but i'm realistic and i did not think like we're going to be in this position but it is still early we may still fall off but thank you guys so much for the great amount of support and as always guys have a humble day or night peace out you